White people know they can do some crazy Bitch, shit. Bitch, I will run you over. Timu, Timu. <laughs> we got a different kind of crazy. Ooh. Black folks. Yeah. Our, our crazy is different, different from white yeah. folks. Do we got an example of it? Of, of more crazy white foolishness? No, black. Oh, no, we don't have. <laughs> We didn't put any of those in our system. And see, it was racist over here. Ah, <laughs> uh -uh. that's Mo. That's Craig with his racist ass <laughs> over here. Racist. They can hear us because this is a story that I came across the other day with these conjoined twins. Oh yeah, I saw that story actually. One of one of them. They got one pussy. One of them got married. What do you mean, one of? I thought he. It wasn't both of them. Well, they both had to be there because they can join. <laughs> well, I mean, <laughs> they have one pit pussy, so one that, set of breasts. So that explains that explains why he's constantly looking at, directly at one of them. Well, where are you gonna look? Where else are you gonna look? I thought he was. I thought he married both of them. Well, he had no choice. <laughs> well, they had one. They had one wedding gown. They're at the beach. And, uh, yeah, those were the two that we got. Good. They said, does that count as a threesome? They don't show with not with, one, not with one pussy. Oh. Yeah, it's one, it's one pussy. Oh, okay. But hey, but there's two mouths. So what are you doing while I'm me and my husband? Because I don't need nobody around me. <laughs> like Aretha said. You can't play an Aretha song over there. You can't hear, you can't play Dr. Feel Good over there. Right. Now, if 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 I got a conjoined twin and I'm fucking my man. What, what you looking at? You reading the book? You got what you what you what you over there doing? You blindfolded? Well, I, I think she would. I think she could feel it also. It's only one vagina. But I'm saying they could both feel it. Can't they both feel? The I, I'm sure. So she but most likely she... enjoy herself too. That's a different type of threesome right there. <laughs> and you having two blood sisters. <laughs> My so God. now, what happens if the other one wants to get married to somebody? What happens then? Oh, they got to share a vagina. That's what it sound like. And I know I can't share my partner, so that's going to be out of the question for me. Well, that's you just going to marry two sisters, DMO. <laughs> <laughs> and see, what's interesting to me, like these, these, these re religious zealots who have so much to say about trans people or gay people, and they, when they say, God don't make no mistakes, well, and I'm not saying that they're a mistake, but what I'm saying is certain phenomenons happen. So like, how do you how do you explain that? So a trans person is and can and does exist, right. and I don't think that this is I don't think that it's a state of mental illness, right? And it's not a mistake, and it's not, you know what I mean. I like, just don't think that. I, I just think I, certain I just, phenomena happen, I, and I think that the girls is a phenomenon, right? And I also think that along with that, there are people that are intersex that used to be called hermaphrodites. Correct. I do believe that. That the that that identity exists even with me not having both sex. Right, and so like the way that I learned to understand it, like the way that I've taught myself to understand it is when a trans person exists, like you said, when a person is intersex or what we used to call hermaphrodite, we have a vagina and a penis on the outside of the body. I believe that those wires, if you will, can cross on the inside. Those biological wires can cross on the inside where maybe a trans person was born male, but the wiring, the biology on the inside was different. Just the way it shows up differently on the outside. It can do the same thing the on the inside, yeah. Yeah, so we just got, this why we, we just gotta wait until the day. When you get on to the other side. Until you get on, hello from the other side. I mean, this, we gotta know. Right. Are we done? Do we have something else in here? What is this? Well, you. What is that? This is. I have a Okay. I ran that bitch over. I sure would have. I think that is the last thing. What's it? this? Oh, oh no, we ain't finished. What is it? Yeah. No. We, no. 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 Where's the? Uh, mm -mm, this just, one. It, you only we, did a screenshot though. I only did a screenshot of this. The way you talk about. Look oh yeah, we do need to do like that. But where's the that one below that? This one. Oh. 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 Yeah. So we got oh. those two. We might need to open up with that. What is that? Oh, it's your your friend. Is the friend from the uh from the uh click on dashes. Okay. Click on that. What's that? This one? That's yeah. Caitlin. 
Oh, yeah. Because it's Trans Day of Visibility, let's talk about it. And then it's the last thing we're going to talk about. We're going to leave mm. out on this. Mm-hmm. And then we'll pick up on that other one. Other one. Okay. And then, uh, do you want me to, you want me to put where she's talking? Yes. Okay. I am absolutely disgusted that Joe Biden has declared the most holy of holy days, self-proclaimed devout Catholic as Transgender Day of Visibility. The only thing you should be declaring on this day is he is risen. Hmm. <laughs> is that our training? What is that nigga? What is she? My pure thoughts is this i think that caitlin jenner is trans for convenience Uh. i think that she's been the cross dresser that got caught up in the sexual fantasy of wearing women's clothing and uh, and looking like janice dickerson and getting fucked has gotten fucked sucked the dick a couple times and i think that she got stuck in that now she's angry that she's 83 years old and can't de drag like that how old is she 137 years old <laughs> and now she's more the more that she the more that she the more that she goes into transhood the more she's anti-trans do you think maybe it's because she lived her life as a man so long that it's almost impossible for her to catch up with the trans experience damn she's 137 she was like years 70 old when she transitioned right well, yeah, no, he, She's not that old, but uh, she's seventy-four. Yeah, <laughs> we don't expect them. We don't expect much. So she was close to seventy when she transitioned. When she started yeah, transitioning, it looked like it. But here's the thing: you you come in, but a crack. This again goes back to the conversation when we had maybe three or four shows ago. We were talking uh, about yeah. jazz when we said yes that you know if we had the ability to transition earlier mm-hmm. would we do it or, or, or was it because right. we were in what a are home? the pros and cons like, was, and i said that everything has to be handled on an individual case yes. and as far as me and mine i'm on the fence with it because yes i personally feel like mo this thing keep clicking and popping over here i think it's a cord in there this the screen over here keeps popping and clicking like it keeps doing Going that. Bl- blacking out yeah. yeah blinking so i just feel they can still hear you. Oh. Oh. Now, there go all of it gone. Oh, there it is. All right. But no, see, the, the, you see what it's doing? It's flickering. See that flickering? It's is, the, is that plugged up in the camera? Or is, what, what's going on? Do I need to buy a new one? What, what about this cord over here? So, if I had the opportunity to go back and transition early, mm-hmm. yes, I would take some hormone because I'm dealing with all this goddamn shit. I got to get hair laser on my pussy. <laughs> <laughs> Hairy ass on the arms, all this type of shit. You know, early on to offset that, if I would have been on estrogen a little bit earlier, but mm-hmm. I know for sure. Mm-hmm who I am you understand what right. I'm saying but I also appreciate the fact that I lived as a gay man up until the age of 17 18 years old I right. appreciate that because I had the opportunity to understand that that's not what I was gonna do mm-hmm. I haven't bought a pair of tennis shoes for me maybe for a nigga mm-hmm. but for me I haven't bought a pair of tennis shoes a pair of men's tennis shoes since Patrick Ewan was the hot shoe <laughs> I used to have a pair of those. Since Patrick Ewan was the hot tennis shoe. That was one of my back to school pair. So I, I, you, you get what I'm saying? Like I, it's just things that going forward, if I had the opportunity, I appreciate that area in my life Patrick so that I, so that I can have that, I can have that lived experience. Yeah. Yeah. To talk from the perspective of, of experiencing the LBGTQIA community, right. honey, from from that area to this area. But one would think, with all of the years that he, because he was, she was he at the time, mm-hmm. all of those years that 
he was married to women, having children, moving through that life um, closeted to a degree. You would have, you would think that he had done his work. I think that she has always saw a she in her, but sexually. Right. Even she probably wanted to experience a woman as a woman. You understand, you understand what I'm saying? Right. Because when I, it's so, it's so layered, Craig. Yeah. When I told the story is that I didn't want, I, the reason why I don't date gay identified men or haven't really mm -hmm. dated gay identified men, I'm open to think, I'm, I'm starting to open now. But the reason why is because I don't want a man seeing me as a fucking man. Right. Or being attracted to me as a man. I think a gay man could see you as a woman. I don't think that they would. Well, most gay men don't want us not attracted to women. Because if they're attracted to women, I don't think they fall under the, under the well, guise yeah, see, of gay. Yeah, yeah yes. See, that's what I, I don't think so either. I think that... I think I think that's right because I think I told you before, like years and years ago, Jasmine Bonet. You mentioned her earlier when we were doing the play. She was dating a guy who said to me, and I think I said this over here before. She was dating a guy. I was like, Craig, I think you're attractive. He said, but you look like a guy. He said, I'm not attracted to you. He said, I like her because she looks like a woman. I understand what she has down in her pants. He said, but she looks like a woman. And my thing is, I think that Caitlyn has always been bottled up as Caitlyn, but just the sexual experience of Caitlyn. Because everything else, as far as coming out as being a trans woman, like she's anti everything. So she should she should have just been a gay white gay man. No, she should have just cross dressed, got fucked, laid it, got it, put on her motherfucking goddamn uh uh what those stockings that you can get out of Walgreens? What was the name of those stockings that came in the egg thing? I remember the, was it legs? Those legs, she should have put on her legs, fucking stockings, laid up in that bed with Chris Jenner, bumped pussies, rolled around a few fucking times with a wig on with another woman and let them play each let them paint each other like they was vampires. Remember that vampire movie where they can't see their reflections, so they paint each other so they put each other makeup on, laid up in the motherfucking bed with each other, bull dyked. And came on up out of that shit and voted Republican and stayed out of our area, girl. She's so annoying. She's very annoying. She should have just kept on her legs. She should have put on her Pat Benner top wig, girl. <laughs> her love is a battlefield quaff. <laughs> her Pat Benner top unit. Right. Love, love, love. Love is a battlefield. Right. Girl, I had on her a pair of shoulder pads, girl. And a fishnet legs. Mm -hmm. And just got fucked. Fucked her a black man. Fucked her a white woman. Had her sexual thing and went on. Because there's a, there's a passage in my book of a bitch that I met on the scroll. Her name was Jessica. I'm not telling y'all no more of my stories. Y'all just going <laughs> to right. y'all just gonna have to see that shit unfold on the screen. Uh -huh. But bitch... And that's who Jessica was. Right. So Same you, mindset. Yes. Do you think uh, Caitlyn is now like a op? Always is a op. She was the op as the Bruce. But do you think that she, uh, she's regretting? I don't think that she regrets it. I think that she's now, she's, she, she's, she's publicly did what she did. And she's trapped in, into, into her sexual identity. I think her sexual identity is a cross-dresser. And that she got up in that shit with them fishnet stockings and those. You know how many times the white man used to call my motherfucking phone? Do you have any boots? Do you have any stockings? Would you dress me up? Would you take me out of whore me out on the corner? God, I hope my wife wouldn't. Well, I bet you I put on my stuff and my wife wouldn't recognize me. Nigga, she know that's you, <laughs> Jeff. <laughs> she know that's you, big nine foot tall ass nigga. I have experienced it a lot. <laughs> and there are other sex workers in the comment section that'll tell you, bitch, how them bitches just come. Do you have any stockings? Oh, wow. Boots. And they got poppers on the side of the bed when you come to their hotel with their ass booted up in the air and those goddamn church, those church heels on hanging off the side of the bed. And they six foot tall with their ass bitten up in there. You got to climb on them like a fucking dog. <laughs> so my question is always... Like when you're a sex worker and you're being paid to perform, what happens if the person's 
body odor or hygiene isn't up to snuff. You tell those girls. I don't know about the rest of those girls, but I, I, I've, I've the, the bitch you know now. I've always been the bitch that I am. Right. I will walk out on money. Right. Just like I cussed those drag race girls out up in, up in the beginning of this show. Uh huh. I will and told them I will clock out from over there. Right. Because ain't nobody gonna. This is me. Ain't nobody gonna run motherfucking me. Because right. off the blue kid trail said it best. Bitch, I'll find a way. Right. I'll, I love that song. <laughs> bitch, I'll find a way. I'll find a way. I'll find a way. Yes. I'll get over you someday. Yeah. Bitch, I will find a way. Ain't nobody going to be motherfucking running me like a damn uh, uh, a slave market. Right. Ain't happening. Not now, not motherfucking never. And that's why when I go off on a bitch or I read a bitch to the floor, I will read you from Viacom, bitch, if I have to. And go and tell them people in my office to kiss my motherfucking ass. Because nobody's gonna make me do anything that I don't want to fucking do. Mm -hmm. And when them dates used to be fuck, hell no, I don't. Do what? Or would you? Or would you? Can I? Can I fuck you raw? No, motherfucker! I don't know you, nigga. Mm. Get the fuck out of here before I bust you in the head with this damn bottle. <laughs> That's why when I was doing BigDickBitch.com, you ain't see the, that all that stocking shit and them cross-dressing ass fucking white men come old ass 63-year-old, 93-year-old white men coming over a land cross date my motherfucking bed with the stockings on, me cosplaying with them. You ain't see that shit. You saw, you saw what I like. I did everything over there that I like doing. <laughs> I like hood niggas, street niggas, bitch. That's what I did over there. I like to get fucked and I got to fuck. That's what I did. I didn't do no threesome. I wasn't swallowing and come swapping and doing all that shit to make no fucking money. <laughs> and that's the problem with a lot of you hoes out here doing this shit. You do these things because, bitch, you trying to survive. You will survive without it. God damn it. I get mad about that shit. All right. I get mad about it because that, be, that became the norm or the standards or the way that you had to do things. Like, you have to do this. In order to remain, I don't give a fuck. But a lot of these kids now, they doing it and they not even getting paid. <laughs> they just out on Twitter because they just want attention, validation. Mm -hmm. Busting in their buttholes. <laughs> Somebody asked if I wear sneakers. Yeah, I have on sneakers. <laughs> I, have, I have on sneakers. Uh, Somebody said, do you, you even wear sneakers? I do. <laughs> what is going on with this screen doing this? I don't know. I think, I think it's the, uh, I think it's the, uh, what you call it? The magic of the rock. Yeah. Yeah. Mish, where's my husband? <laughs> oh. Where's my husband, Meech? <laughs> anyway, child, we done been on here. This is the longest we've been on This is the great. longest that we've been on here for four oh, hours. Now, girl, now, shit, this Easter, so he is, he's risen! Uh, I done told y'all a sex story and every damn thing, honey. Oh. They said Craig was at Freak Nick. No, I wasn't. I was. <laughs> I never made it to Freak Nick. I did. <laughs> How many did you go to? A couple. <laughs> now, where I went to the most was BCR. <laughs> down there in motherfucking uh, what's BCR? Bethune Cookman reunion. Oh my, bitch, down there in Daytona so Beach. You did go to an HBCU. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't enroll, but you've been. But you've been. Oh, I've been enrolled, right? Many, many times. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> but I kept speaking the same language. Ooh and ah, uh. oh, so, uh, right. So you've been to the dorms too. Well, what you what you no the dorms for? No, the dorms, no, the dorms came to me. <laughs> The dorms came to the Holiday Inn, honey. Room six. Uh -uh. <laughs> room number six. The stories I got from that are off the off the off the Richter scale. <laughs> How the dick stuff fell out of the room in that bitch. <laughs> dick stuff fell out of the motherfucking dick is like. <laughs> Craig, you. Back then, we wasn't telling nobody what the fuck was going on. Right. Now I'm not going and listen. I don't. I don't sit up here and play like the girls was innocent. Oh, right, ain't don't right, told right. because I have lived in that in that area of right. life. Well, we didn't do to but bitch, it's a new day. Right, bitch, it was back then. Them dicks would fall out. <laughs> <laughs> ah. 
<laughs> and if they too deep in, you like, you didn't know? <laughs> I was, you didn't know? <laughs> I thought you knew. I thought you knew. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> I thought you knew. And it's not fun. It's funny to tell the joke, but it's not funny. Mm -hmm. But that's why I'm there, a big advocate for. Right. You don't have to do that. Don't deprive. Listen, I was depriving myself for some good head. I'm finna go after this. I was depriving myself for some good head from a motherfucking person back then. Like mm -hmm. I don't want. I want to know if he, that girl know your teeth. Girl, he don't suck all the hour dicks out here. <laughs> I'm like, hold on, you know him. Get up with swallow more cum. You didn't want you didn't want what? I, just, I wanted to be a woman. And you, <laughs> <laughs> a woman. And so you didn't want them to know. I ain't want on my team. <laughs> <laughs> but the person that you talking about, they were giving some good dome. They was giving some dome. The girls talk about how good that dome was. You I had to let them know you got a dick so he can suck yours too. Oh, I did. <laughs> Oh, so I, I got my dick sucked and went all about my business. I ain't love him the same after that. Really? Why? Wow. After I know that throat had been abused like that. <laughs> but see, I'm going to tell y'all some real shit. I'm, I'm, I'm going to tell y'all some real, 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 oh. real, real, real ass shit. Uh-huh. The mind games the niggas will play is unfathomable. <laughs> they will play some mind games on you. You'll be sitting over there fuck, thinking you fucking them niggas up and them niggas is fucking you up in the long run. I, listen, if that bitch, that bitch, that think that, that, that nigga think I don't know what that nigga is, I'm going to play that bitch all the way to the end. Right. Well, I mean, guys, we'll play the long game. You want to be a woman? Okay, you ain't get, you, you, you I'm going to suck all your friends, dick. <laughs> and you're going to come right back to me. I'm a, I know you, I know what you no, want. I'm going to suck all your friends, dick. <laughs> <laughs> Since you got a pussy, I'm going to suck all your friends, dick. <laughs> Ah. Oh my God! And just like you ain't tell me what you, I ain't gonna tell you. <laughs> we even, we even, bitch. And the minute that you tell me, like what? Why you didn't? So you were here confronting. You should have told me from the start. And I'd have just been sucking your dick. Right. <laughs> That's what I really came over here for. Just suck your dick. But you was trying to sit over here and play like you got a fucking pussy. So there, so all every dick that was available, I sucked it over there. Okay. <laughs> 